The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 13th of December, almost mid month, and we're looking at the Dow. Down 10 at 36,569. At this time yesterday, we were looking at uh, new recovery highs. We've done that again today. 36,602 is the high so far today. And within that context, one of the only signs that I see as a slightly overbought level is the on balance volume. The stochastic at 97% is very good. Now, I'm going to do a little work over the next couple of days. I hope to have it ready for my webinar a week from today to talk about what happens when the stochastic stays over 95% or 93% for a certain amount of time. What is the next level that you would look at if there was a turn down? So let's just keep going here. The S&P at this particular point is at a new uh, recovery high, 46, uh, 46 right now, up 2.5. Uh, 46.50 has been the high. Um, I'll get into the notation when I do my show, but this is a breakout in the weekly charts, and I need to talk about that uh, when we get back as to say, when could we get a peak D in the weekly charts? When's the soonest we could get it? And that's actually late January. So let's go to the QQQ. Uh, we're looking at the Qs, also had a new recovery high uh, at 479, the all-time high was 408.71. I mean, an eye blink. Maybe the Fed does something today. Right now, the market's just stalling, waiting for Fed speak. IWM, Russell 2000, is uh, down 15 cents at 186. Let's go to gold. Gold is also in a waiting mode here. It's kind of at up four at 1997, sitting right on the 200-period moving average, waiting for the Fed to make some announcement that allows gold to start moving back up, or maybe it doesn't do anything. Talk about doing anything. The dollar's just gone sideways. Crude oil, uh, let me just check that. Crude oil's up a little bit, but it's making lower lows. I'm anticipating uh, we've got, oh, just another couple of days to go before that 67 to 65 target uh, is, maybe it's not going to be hit. Maybe we start a crude oil bounce right here, but the 200 period moving average of 67.69 uh, is right there now on the 200 period moving average of the of the a weekly chart. What have I missed? I've missed bonds, and bonds are up a half a point. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians. Uh, check out my opening call. Check out my webinar coming up for subscribers a week from today. <laughs>